Welcome to another episode of Light Fan Whiskey. As always, I am Jordan. Today we are going to look at the uh, Balcones Texas Bourbon. Uh, it's a pot still, straight bourbon coming in at, this one's hard to read, 48% ABV. So what is that, 96 proof? Um, my wife picked up a little 50 mil when we were when she was down in Colorado. Um, I should bring this up. Uh, let me see here. I got the list right here. What well, she paid for that? Uh, five dollars and forty nine cents. So five dollars and fifty cents here for this Balcones. Um, one thing I will say is, um, I didn't expect to find a lot of Texas whiskeys here. Um, as far as the distribution goes, uh, this, if you watch Rex and Daniel on Whiskey Tribe, Whiskey Vault at all, um, they're very, they speak very highly of Balcones. Their big thing is corn, um, different corn whiskeys. I do have and have reviewed, um, because their, uh, their blue corn is, um, one that gets rave reviews. This is their, uh, baby blue, so it's a little bit younger, um, I've done a review of this one and then one that is not for the lighthearted is this brimstone um, <clears throat> Texas scrub oak smoked and I have to say in the right mood. I really really dig this one um, It's dark. It's char. It's not peaty like a, you know, it's not a pleasant um, light smoke like you would find in a scotch this is a dark hefty campfire smoke tastes like a charcoal brisket um it's a brisket briquette uh it's not what most people are gonna like but me being a little weird i kind of dig it and so every now and again i go back to that bottle and you know when i want to be punched in the face that is a great one to do it so i highly encourage you to check that out if you're into that type of experience that baby blue it's a little young um so i think i don't know what the mash bill on this is it says at least aged at least 24 months in oak um but uh we'll see we'll see what this has you know i'm sure it's pretty good um but yeah they get rave reviews from a lot of people now i am able to get balconis products here in wyoming I have to attribute that to the oil field and a lot of people from Texas have moved to Wyoming. You know, I gripe about all the people from the coast moving here during COVID and whatever. Um, my little small community here has seen at least a 30% increase in population in uh, in the last three years, um, which is very noticeable in the way people drive and the way people drive like jackasses now, blowing red lights, blowing stop signs, tailgating. Um, speeding just acting like a general idiot um not a big fan of that like the total character of our town has changed completely in the last three years which i'm not a huge fan of that but uh there's a lot of people from texas as well that have moved here and also contribute to that um and i would suspect that because of the oil field and whatnot that uh a lot of those people are here from texas and so they ask for things like Balcones. And so um, the way that Wyoming works is all the liquor in the state goes through the state warehouse. And so if you want a particular bottle, uh, you have to find uh, a store that then requ requests it from their distributor. Their distributor has to get it through the state. And then the state has to get however much. So if you want just like a bottle it's pretty difficult to get stuff because um without the demand the state's not necessarily willing to allocate space to it um at any given time so it's kind of a tough deal here to get uh special bottles and stuff like that um which kind of stinks that's one of the reasons why and again you know with a population under six hundred thousand people here in wyoming um there's not a lot of demand here you split that up amongst a couple of larger cities and, you know, people's preferences and then, you know, over 21 and all of a sudden you got a pretty small population to um, cater to. And so to have a lot of money wrapped up in it, I get it uh, in supply and whatever else. So I get all that, but still it'd be nice to be able to get some, so especially because we got Jackson here, uh, you know, with Jackson, 
that's the richest, Teton County is the richest county in the United States. Um, you would think that that alone would allow me to get my hands on whatever I wanted, and I'm sure the people over in Jackson can get their hands on whatever they want. However, um, I also don't, not so convinced that the, uh, that all the money in the world means that they have any, uh, palate, so to speak, or know what good whiskey is anyway. So, who knows? All that to say, Baconis smells like corn dust, oak, some brown sugar. I got like a sprightly apricot, like a really, it smells like if you ever drank Sprite and you got the fizz and whatever in your nose. Kind of has that effervescent going for it. But it's like an apricot, light fruit. Like maybe a blossoming apple blossom. Pretty nice nose, actually. Uh, but very fruit forward. Uh, sweet. Sweet brown sugar in there. <clears throat> maybe a confectioner sugar almost, too. Hmm. Not at all what I was expecting from the nose. So on the palate, very sweet, very nice, uh, candy sweet up front. Um, corn grainy, green dust, very forward in it. Um, kind of dries out in the middle. You get a sweet oak uh, with a honey. Um, not a bitterness, but actual oak flavor. Uh, but it dries out and the flavor kind of disappears. And on the tongue, you're left with, um, it almost has that char oak that the brimstone has that briquette charcoal briquette but really really tamped down i mean really light um to the point where i gotta i gotta think that it's just char from the barrel so the barrel char impact on the whiskey itself is quite heavy i think that's where that's coming from but it rounds out that flavor in a very very pleasant way um Plays nice with all the other flavors. And now in the glass, it smells like that brimstone does. Like just burnt charcoal briquette. Um, which, and and uh, and it smells a little young. And it also has um, a lot of corn in it. Corn dust and like grain bin. But man, I do, I like it. I'm a weirdo, I guess. I like that stuff. I don't know if you're, if, I mean, this is for everybody, but you're into that kind of stuff man this this might be your ticket it's it does not punch you in the face but it offers something that you don't find in any other whiskeys that much i will say it also has kind of that signature back end craft whiskey note on the palate um if you've drank a lot of craft whiskeys you'll know exactly what i'm talking about um, but it's also pot still, so there's a lot of stuff coming through in that still. I don't know how many times they, you know, run it through the still, if it's distilled twice or three times or what. Um, but that also plays a fair bit into this um, versus a column still, which is going to strip out a lot of that different, those different flavor, those phenols and the flavor components, phenols and conjures. But man, it smells really good. And it's pretty pleasant to drink, not gonna lie. So there you go. For $5.50 for a uh, 50 mil, I don't know what that scales up to be. Probably like a $45, $50 bottle, maybe, something like that. Uh, for a $7.50 for uh, Balcona's Texas Bourbon. Um, if you're looking for something a little bit different, that's not just like bourbon. Um, which I classify most bourbon as just bourbon. You know, it has classic notes, classic characteristics. This Balcones is a little bit outside of that, which I really appreciate. So there you go. Drop in the comments down below what you can find a bottle of Balcones for in your area, where that area is, along with any other comments you have regarding the Balcones um, or any of their uh, bottlings for that matter. And then, you know, any general comments at all. I'd love to hear it. Um, also, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out Life and Whiskey on BitChute Rumble if you're not already. Um, it is on YouTube, but my YouTube channel is like way behind as far as videos go because I only release them on Saturdays. And uh, let's see, any other housekeeping business I got? Nope, I don't think so. So, as always, thanks for watching. You guys have yourselves a great day. Do greatly appreciate 
anytime you interact with the videos. Love to hear what you have to say. Have yourselves a great day. See ya.